Hi, so um, this is going to be my first electronics tutorial video and I want to first off apologize for any low audio quality or mistakes I might make like this thing down here. Um, this is my first I think YouTube video period so we're gonna see how it goes but I wanted to make this to help people because this is something that I struggled with and this is going to be the first in a series of videos called the first project with lattice FPGA and lattice I'm referring to the lattice semiconductor up here this is a company and the FPGA we're going to be using is the or we're going to be using an FPGA development board and that's called the ice stick evaluation kit you can just search for it search lattice semiconductor ice stick evaluation kit and it looks like this so here's the packaging this is what it looks like it's pretty small you can see it plugged in um, it's great it's cheap it's really cheap actually so here it is on digikey for 25 bucks so pretty good compared to something like Digilance Basis 3 for $150. This isn't obviously as good as that. It has like very limited I.O. You can see all those little tiny I.O. pins. Also has a PMOD connector for other Digilent uh, peripheral modules. And um, But yeah, limited I.O. Great for your first little adventure. It's got some LEDs on there. It also has a IR um, transceiver. And yeah, but it's great. It's cheap. I got mine from the Lattice store. If you go up here, you go buy, and then I'm in the U.S., I would click U.S. and then buy it. The shipping was a little expensive. It was like $17. Maybe DigiKey has it for less. Um, but yeah, just look around. It's around 25 bucks uh, everywhere. One of the great things about this board compared to others is that, yes, it's cheap, but it also uses open source tools. And there's this great, there's a great series of articles on Hackaday that I'll link in the description below and it's a boot camp. It's uh, Learn FPGA Fast with Hackaday's FPGA boot camp and it covers some of these open source tools and developing the with the lattice ice stick. So here's the lattice ice stick here, there's the LEDs. Um, yeah, great. I used this article for a lot of learning about this FPGA. It was my first FPGA and uh, it's just great, period. So I'll link that in the description. The open source tools run on Linux only, I believe. So if you're on Windows, Mac, um, this tutorial is going to be good. It's on Windows. Or if you just want to use the manufacturer's products, this will be great too. As far as this tutorial goes, it's going to be a series of videos, like I said. And first, we're going to go over writing the Verilog for an AND gate, actually. I don't want to do the blinking sketch because... A, I'm not super great at explaining Verilog yet, <laughs> and um, B, it's the AND gate. An AND gate is something that you can sort of interact with, and you can plug your jumper wires into different spots on a breadboard and have different things pop up. Um, yes, it's a basic program, but this isn't how to like do super awesome, amazing stuff in the Lattice software with this FPGA. This is just like a general go through everything. So first, write the Verilog. Second, I'm going to show you how to simulate it with a test bench in the Lattice software. Third, we're going to look at uploading the code to the FPGA. And then fourth, uh, I'm going to show you how it works on an actual breadboard because there are some things that are a little bit different. You can see here in this uh, Hackaday picture, there's these resistors right here. And those are actually pull-down resistors because the board actually needs that. So I'm going to show you how to set those up for an AND gate. And um, yeah, so thanks for checking this out. And please click on the next video.